Good evening everyone, welcome to Again Craft. This is going to be a short and sweet video. Uh, some of you asked me how I managed to get my resin uh, bubble free. So instead of me trying to explain it in the comment section for everyone, every single time I'm just going to show you. So I poured my part A and part B in the, in the cup right here. And now it looks extremely cloudy and I put my spatula in there. And this is a uh, household resin, so this is not the dual casting resin. You can pour this resin up to one inch, okay? And I start mixing it. And the point when you start mixing it is you don't want to slam air into it like this, okay? You don't want air to be incorporated in it, sorry, like this, like when you whisk a egg. You just want to mix the two the two parts together now when you mix the two parts together you are not creating a third chemical with the mix we're just putting the molecules of part a next to part b's molecules that's all you need to do that's all you are doing okay so when you scrape the walls when you scrape the bottom you don't have to be extremely fast you don't have to do this like an animal okay the goal here is to have enough part A next to enough part B so that the chain reaction of the curing can start and that they can bond together, creating the hard resin, okay? And now you can see it's clearing up. Can you see it? So there are some fine streaks in it right now. Sorry, I'm trying to show this to you. See these streaks? That's streaks of part A and streaks of part B next to each other. And imagine you are pulling these strings of both and you are making, you're mixing it like this because you want these strings to be very, 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 very extremely thin, as thin as possible. You spaghettify them <laughs> like a black hole. Anyway, so that's how you mix it together. And it doesn't matter if it takes you like four or five minutes to mix together. Okay. It doesn't matter. You've got a half an hour, one hour, two hours working time, whatever working time you have with your material. But the thing is, you don't have to do it like, like a beast. You see, I have barely any bubbles in it. So I can go a little bit faster like this. You know, I like to go like, like this speed. And... Uh, it's more or less mixed in now. I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. Now, bubbles are not in this resin right now, but when you pour it, on a, pour it on a porous surface, the surface can release bubbles. So make sure you seal the surface with resin. Just brush off this or a previous mix of this on the, on the, on the piece, which is porous and make sure you fill all the holes, let it cure, and then pour this on top of it. Um, how else? Uh, if your uh, temperature in your workshop is too hot, you can create bubbles. See my video on the bubbles in the soap dish experiment. Uh, that's how I had bubbles in it. But as you see, it's crystal clear now. I have only tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny bubbles in it left and right. And I don't worry about it because when I'm pouring it out, I'm going to spray a teeny tiny bit of alcohol on top. And, uh, and that will get rid of it. And I think this resin is mixed in very well. Okay, I don't usually follow the guidance of, of the manual. I eyeball it every single time. And when I see that I don't see the streaks in it, then I think it's mixed in enough. Okay. So this is how you mix your resin in without having bubbles in it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. You can support me on buymeacoffee.com if I saved you a buck. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next. Bye.